everyone. I'm gonna take you to work with me. It's a little bit of a brutal commute, but I think you can handle it. This is Robert Stack, and when I'm not solving mysteries, I'm watching Tom was here. I know. Treacherous. I'm sure this looks familiar to some of you. Maybe some of you. Who knows? The last time I had started a weight loss journey, or the last time I did a video on the weight loss journey, um, was I think around March of 2021. Uh, I ended up hurting my foot in a really stupid way, um, and it basically just ruined it. And and. Uh, uh, since then, uh, a lot of things have happened. Um, if you don't watch the regular channel, although I don't know if I've even mentioned on the regular channel, um, but I actually, um, I changed jobs uh, June of last year and now work from home permanently. And there are benefits to working from home. Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm a lot more productive. I used to be kind of like a, someone that would talk and you know kind of like not necessarily that it would affect my work but I would certainly talk often and although I miss the people um that I would have conversations with I don't necessarily miss going into work every day the biggest disadvantage to not going into work every day is the fact that this picture you know you going to commute to work you have to get up you have to actually go somewhere, you have to walk into the office, you have to walk upstairs, you have to walk to your car. If it's snowing, you have to clean off your car. There's activities that can be done. I virtually have no activity anymore. Um, it haven't really since June of last year. I literally go from this chair to this chair for my post-work power nap, which can last anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours, depending on how often people bother me. Doesn't happen every day, but most days. To then this chair for watching TV, to this chair for playing video games. And finally, to bed, to wake up and do it all over again. So as you can see, um, not saying I have to do that, I'm just saying that's what is going on currently. Um, and if you watch the, um, you know, I know it's hard because I kind of, I I don't really adhere to the YouTube, YouTube algorithm. Um, the idea is if you have a YouTube channel, you have to do the same thing uh, because your audience will watch the same thing. If they're interested in amusement parks they just want to watch amusement parks they don't want to watch any of your other stuff if you're interested in mystery boxes they only want to watch that and nothing else so as being a variety channel it's hard to relay back to videos that if you're watching this video for weight loss you might not have watched the last video which i did at bites of pints at kennywood um which is kind of the catalyst for this weight loss thing because what happened at bites of pints is uh, I wasn't able to ride the steel curtain and I left that in the video. I could have easily removed it uh, because I sat in the seat, put the harness down, it locked into place. They're saying it wasn't tight enough. They pushed it further down on me, then further down on me, then further down on me still. And um, they're like, yeah, still no go. Sorry, <laughs> out. So that was really the catalyst for getting back into the weight loss journey again. Um, so yeah, if you can, you can go back, you can watch that video and, and I kind of explain it in detail, but yeah, I could have easily cut it out, but it boils down to personal accountability of which I really haven't had any, not just, you know, my family, I'm sh sure, uh, a few friends in the outside world, sure. Uh, you know, when you're going to start losing weight, uh, but that is about it. Not really anything to a personal accountability standpoint. So. This is the start of me taking that personal responsibility. And the timing arguably couldn't be worse um, because it's coming into summertime. And look, you don't wanna be a big dude in summertime. It's not fun. Uh, yeah, it's not an ideal time uh, to attempt to lose weight. For example, um, 
it's going to be June this week. At the end of June, I have a vacation. I go to Florida at the end of June. Um, then at the end of July, I go to a work meeting uh, up in Buffalo. So really the end of every month, comes a certain period of time. And it's not saying I can't be more healthy on both vacation and to the work meeting, but it's just that, that breakup where I could easily, you know, just kind of like throw caution in the wind and go like, well, you know, it's vacation. I don't have to eat 100% healthy or, oh, I'm on a work trip and I'm just gonna eat what everybody else is eating. I could easily do those things. And I may easily do those things knowing me, um, but just a matter of if I start now, you know, I can do a solid three plus weeks, maybe a, almost a month before I have to go on vacation. And then, you know, you take a few days off and then jump right back into it, a few weeks, maybe take a few days off, although I could probably eat healthier on the work trip. I don't know. But anyway, the idea is to have more personal accountability. Um, and that is what I'm going for. So what we have to do now is um, step on the scale and see kind of how bad it is. Because um, my guess is, and I haven't stepped on the scale in a considerable amount of time, but my guess is it's worse than what my starting weight was in 2020. When I first did a weight loss journey video, I'm guessing it's worse. I don't know how worse, but worse. <laughs> so let's step on the scale and see how it goes. All right, well, let's see where we're at. Can't be good. Oh boy, yuck. Oh, it's worse, all right. <laughs> 301.6, tip in the 300 scale, woof. And you know, I, I know that this is partly, you know, other than my fat head, kind of this this uh, double chin here, um, I live a world, you know, with YouTube and at home uh, where I have a mirror in my bathroom and it, it's a mirror from here up. And when I do YouTube, it's from here up. So you don't see this giant pot belly that I got here. Um, for the most part, when I watch it back in videos, I go, I don't look too bad. Like it looks okay, I don't look super fat. But yeah, this face is fat and this pot belly is super fat. And it doesn't go away just because I film from here up. Um, so <laughs> that is something that I'm gonna have to get resolved. Um, I would appreciate any you know, as before, any tips that people can provide, any um, tricks that people can provide. I do feel I have a good morning routine. Um, so I get up from here at about 11, um, 11 a.m. and uh, I go up, uh, I don't really eat anything in the morning, I'll drink something in the morning. Uh, usually try to start the day with water and have been for some time. Um, and then I go up and I take, um, apple cider vinegar, multivitamin, ashwagandha, something like that, and a fish oil pill. I just take those various things uh, and then eat a bowl of oatmeal, uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal or whatever. That I feel is a solid morning start. It just tends to derail from there. Um, usually it's because I'll eat something bad for dinner uh, pizza or you know whatever um, because me and my wife work on opposite schedules it's kind of resigned to whatever is in the fridge on that given day not all of those choices are good choices it's just whatever is there I eat um, now normally you can get past that but then what I end up doing what really derails me is snacking and I snack a good bit a lot even, um, you know, anywhere from Chex Mix to cookies to crackers to chips to really whatever I have. And sometimes I do the, the, the dastardly combo of like right after I'm done with dinner, like within the, you know, 30 minutes after dinner, I start putting away the snacks. And if I'm not distracted on a certain period of day or time or whatever, I'll just put down multiple snacks in a night. That's what I feel does me in more than say the bad dinners, um, but obviously I have to limit and cut down on them. So 
really this video just is is to keep me accountable and hopefully you know not just for you the people that are watching this video um but friends family and others that would watch this video as well to just say like hey like you know we're gonna help you out with this um because you've shown a terrible job of doing it by yourself and they're right <laughs> so that is the idea um that is what i'm going for here um so i do appreciate anyone's input in regards to this journey it's not an easy thing I had a lot of feedback of people that reached out and they're like, ooh, like you couldn't fit on the steel curtain, huh? Like that's rough or that's, you know, terrible or I feel bad or whatever. But no, 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 no. Do not feel bad. That's on me. That's on me. That is what I did to myself, not, you know, exercising in any way, not changing my diet in any way, not attempting to get to lose weight or get healthy in any way. So that is totally on me. Um, but yeah, uh, any help that you can provide in regards to this journey, I would greatly appreciate it. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you like to support me on Patreon like John Bailey did, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, a Tom Was Here t-shirt, you can do so at Spreadshirt, as well as links to my eBay store, of which I'm working through all these collectibles that I got from mystery boxes to put up on eBay, um, Facebook, Facebook page, Instagram, Clubhouse, Pennsylvania Autograph Collectors Association. Go make sure all those links are in the description below. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's about time. It is about time to get back on the horse, uh, get back to, you know, just being a lot healthier. I don't know if I have a set goal, um, but I'm definitely going to try to lose. The hope is that I can lose something somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 pounds before vacation. That will help to ease the guilt a bit uh, if I, you know, eat more poorly on vacation. Um, but definitely it, it boils down to making better choices, kind of limiting pop. I tend to chain smoke, diet Dr. Pepper, and limiting that as well. Um, but let me know your tips and your tricks, what you guys use. Um, have you lost a bunch of weight, you know, kind of in this pandemic era of which we're maybe getting out of? I don't know. I heard more about jumping back into it, which hopefully is not the case. But let me know your thoughts. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate any input you can provide and any help uh, that you can offer me on this journey. And hopefully, uh, I don't know if it'll be weekly content, but hopefully uh, more regular videos and, and hopefully more progress um, to attempt to lose this weight because that is ultimately what I'm going for. Um, but until the next weight loss video, I will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.